Hey everyone, it's November 22nd, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share it with serial killer Robert Ben Rhodes, known as the truck stop killer, who murdered at least four, but is suspected of claiming as many as 50 victims across the U.S. and Canada beginning in the 1970s. And that's a lot of photos of him all over there. Rhodes was born in Iowa in 1945, while his father was stationed in West Germany after the end of World War II. His dad returned from Europe while he was in elementary school and took work as a fireman. Rhodes was active at school, being on the football team, in wrestling, singing in the choir, and participating in the French club. Despite having the extracurriculars needed for admission to every university in the country, he became a Marine after high school, and just a few months after he enlisted, his father was arrested for molesting a 12-year-old girl and committed suicide while awaiting trial. In 1968, Rhodes was kicked out of the military for participating in a robbery, and he attempted to become a police officer, but was rejected for being dishonorably discharged from the Marines. He got married three times while working in warehouses, restaurants, and finally as a long-haul trucker, and became involved in the BDSM scene, finding that he enjoyed controlling his partners. An even darker side to Rhodes emerged as he spent long days driving across North America's desolate highways. Starting in the 1970s, he indulged his fantasies by picking up women and couples, torturing them in a special compartment he built into the cab of his truck, then killing them and dumping their bodies along his route. His first victims were the ex-girlfriend of heavy metal vocalist Warrell Dane of the band Sanctuary and Nevermore and her husband. Rhodes picked them up at a truck stop, then immediately killed the man and shackled the woman in his cab. He dumped the man's body in Texas while driving his route and stopped frequently to torture the woman over the next week. When he grew tired of torturing and sexually assaulting her, he killed her, leaving her body in Utah. A month later, he grabbed an 18-year-old drifter, but she escaped after two weeks of torture and told the police. Rhodes was picked up, but a lack of evidence, or more likely a lack of caring about the fate of a teenage runaway, led the authorities to just let him go. He then picked up two 14-year-old runaways, killing the boy immediately and keeping the girl around for his sexual pleasure for months before killing her. It's believed that he killed dozens of people over the next decade, though exact numbers will likely never be known. In 1990, his truck was seen stopped on the shoulder of I-10 in Arizona with the hazard lights on. A state trooper looked inside the cab of the truck and discovered a nude woman chained up and screaming. Rhodes was with her and tried to talk his way out of it, but the trooper took him into custody and he was charged with sexual assault and unlawful imprisonment. Investigators began to connect the dots and tie him to numerous unsolved disappearances and homicides. A search of his home turned up photos of nude teens that he had taken, and in 1994 he was tried for murder. He was convicted of one murder in Illinois and sentenced to life in prison, while facing extradition to multiple other states for additional murders. In exchange for not seeking the death penalty, Rhodes pleaded guilty to two murders in Texas, and to spare families from lengthy trials, other charges were set aside. Rhodes currently sits behind bars in Illinois, and were he ever to be released there, he'd be incarcerated in Texas for the rest of his days. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Robert Ben Rhodes, I say, happy birthday, you bastard. If you're thinking I was going to do this in the photo, no. Okay, fine. I have no dignity left.